<laughs> Dad? Dad? Piccolo, you came. I like to do a little image training every now and then to make sure I don't get too rusty. Time to see what I can do. And you're just the guy to help me do that. Yeah. 
Give me all you got. <laughs> Not much longer before this planet's ours. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, Raditz. Uh, sorry. And that's why everyone calls you Raditz the Runt. Things will be different on the next planet. <laughs> Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I just remembered something. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Uh, I think it's called Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Attack of the Saiyans. We better head home or mom's gonna be really mad at us. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. Super strong? Yeah, a guy going by the name of Piccolo. Piccolo? Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo. He's the strongest guy I've ever fought in my whole life. I don't think anybody's gotten me more pumped up than him. I want to fight him again, so I'm hoping to get stronger, and soon. I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, 
I bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. I don't think Mom would like that very much. Ah, that's right! I totally forgot. Ah, uh, think. What all did... Oh, uh, I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Oh, yeah, right! Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. Okay, I'll go look. Gohan sure is full of energy. Don't get too excited and trip over your own feet! Now, where did that son of mine run off to? Safe to say, he couldn't have gone that far. Yeah. Let's try to find one more. What do you say? <laughs> Leave it to me! Gohan looks like he's having a blast. Hey now! Don't go wandering too far! Gohan, you're a regular bloodhound. All right, this ought to be enough. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of apples now. Thanks for finding these, Gohan. <laughs> I'm kind of tired now, though. I get it. And I don't blame you. Okay. But first, we need to find a spot to fish. Okay. Don't walk... Try to keep up, though. Don't leave me, Dad! Sorry, sorry. We must have gotten split up. Gohan? I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. <laughs> Man, you get tired pretty easy, don't you? <laughs> I guess I can carry you if you want. Hooray! Hello! You... <laughs> Yay! Look how high I am! Hey, you perked right up. Were you trying to trick your old kid, you know that? So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um, 
I want to become a great scholar. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? <laughs> well, I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But if you're ever looking to toughen up, I'm your man. Nah, uh, fighting is too scary for me. Come to think of it, this is your first time fishing, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right. Then let me show you how I used to do it back when I was your age. It'll be fun. I'm pretty sure there's a good spot somewhere right around this place. We should be able to catch something here. All right. Let's get started. But what are we going to fish with? We don't have any rods. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? Who needs what? My... my tail? I can use that to fish? Yep. By dipping your tail in the water, you can feel the fish moving around. Pretty neat, huh? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, okay. So what do you say? Let's catch us some fish. I have to do what Chi Chi asked me to do first. Nope, not here. <laughs> to do what Chi Chi asked me to do first. She'll flip when she sees this one. Man, all this fishing is really working up an appetite. You know what I mean? Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we've got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I I'm a little hungry too. <laughs> Let's roast our catch over the fire. What do you say? I'm hungry for some grilled fish. Okay, time to grill up some fish. better than some fresh fish in your belly? Ugh, I think I ate too much, though. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, you're going to have to eat a lot of this stuff. <laughs> right. I had fun today, Dad. You know, I had fun today, too. Thanks for your help. I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait.
I bet you'd be pretty strong if you trained. I don't think so. Oh yeah, Dad! I meant to tell you! I found this while you were fishing! Really? Thanks, Gohan! Should we head home now? All right, let's head home. Right. Here goes. Flying Nimbus. All right, hang on tight. <laughs> Whoa, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> bye bye. Flying Nimbus is super fast! I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid! Chi Chi, we're back! And we've got food! Hi, Mom! You're late, Goku! It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients! Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training, too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today! Wait, that's today? Of course! Ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here! I need... Now then, I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty.
This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Go for some. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm finished. Here are your lunches. Dig it. Thanks, TG. Your stuff's the best. Really gets the blood pumping and the muscles moving, right, Gohan? Yeah. Later, Chi-Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whoa, what a neat little ball. That little ball on top there? It's a Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. 
So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. Bye! I want you both home by supper, you got it? It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds. like well he looks like a feeble old geezer but he's super strong really though it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert yeah he was my rival at the time but now he's my best friend is krillin strong just like you yeah seriously out of all the guys i know he's definitely up there there's also a woman i know named bulma see she was looking for the dragon balls when she ran into me and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. Goku! Goku! Yo! Oh. And who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? what? Your, your son? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh... His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your... <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment.
Yo! Yes. Uh, um... Hey! <laughs> Greetings. Hey! Huh? Greetings. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. What should I do now? What? Gotta take care of some stuff first. Yeah! 
So, he's got your looks, but does he have your power, too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi-Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. What is it? It ain't no meteor! Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Ah! Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot? <laughs> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this.
Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. Well, I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. This will end it. This will end it. I'd better look for more. Chit. So it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others, but you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just go this guy. Oh, no way! This will end it! This will end it! turn now time to show you what real power looks like <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading that's got to be <clears throat> who the hell and where is he going
<laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then, allow me. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't... Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life. We Saiyans search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Uh. Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot, the planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot, think of the fun we'll have. Just yeah. shut up! Huh. Fine. Be that little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him and... Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high. Back off! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you. Uh, what's wrong? You scared? Yeah! Yeah! You're not my brother. You're nothing to me. Yeah, go on, get out of here. Kakarot, don't turn your back on your family! You're evil! Oh, hello! You're what the hell happened to your tail? I had it cut off a long time ago! Why would you do that? Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. 
If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Give him back. Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> You still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it! That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball! All right, I'm off! It's now or never! You're as good as dead on your own! Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together... If we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Thank you! <sighs> hey! Yeah! Flying Nimbus! Hold tight, Gohan! We're coming! Earth's dream team to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> 